The topic of this video is mathematical models building functions. Okay, we now continue from the previous video, and now we're going to discuss the concept associated with questions like this one. Let's just briefly reread the question one more time. A rectangle has one corner on the graph of y equals 9 minus x squared, that's this blue parabola, another at the origin, 0, 0, a third on the positive y-axis, and a fourth on the positive x-axis, see the figure. Express the area of the rectangle as a function of x. Okay, so here's the general idea. We don't know where along this blue parabola the point will be, but we have to somehow program a computer to accept as the only input the x-coordinate of that point and deliver as an output the area of the rectangle it creates. So what we're going to do is the same as what we did in the previous collection of videos. We're going to do this with numbers first, and then we're going to do it with variables. I should uh, remind you that doing this with numbers is not the concept, is not the skill that I'm trying to teach you. It's just a means to an end. If you can understand how it works with numbers, that will help you better understand how it works with variables, x, algebra. So let's start with a very simple number. Let's start with 1.5. That's not too complicated. So I've already drawn in light blue the point on the graph whose x coordinate is 1.5. So let me just go ahead and draw this line here. Okay, so we can see that this has an x coordinate of 1.5. So 1.5 is going to go into our function. Now, the first thing that we need to teach this particular computer to do is, based on this number, 1.5, come up with the length and the width of the rectangle. All right, so uh, first of all, let's get an idea of what's going on here, right? So this is the right side of the rectangle. The origin is one of the corners. This is one of the corners. This is one of the corners. So from that, we can see that the height of the rectangle is being measured from here to here, and that the base of the rectangle is being measured from here to here. So the first thing that we observe is that the base of the rectangle is very easy to measure. It's the distance from 0 to 1.5, which is just 1.5. So whatever it is that was the input x, that's going to be the base of our rectangle. So the area of our rectangle is equal to the base times the height, or you can say length times width. They're really the same formula. And we've learned that in this particular instance, if x is 1.5, then the base is 1.5. Now we just have to figure out what's the height. How high is it from here up to here? Now remember that a computer does not have eyes, so it cannot simply try to figure out where this point is in between these two values. A computer needs a numerical procedural way to come up with that. But there's an easy way. So we know that x is 1.5, and we know it's sitting on a function y equals 9 minus x squared. So if you want to know what y is, just plug in x, and that will tell you. So y will be 9 minus 1.5 squared. So y will be 9 minus 2.25. So y will be 6.75. So then I've got 6.75 for the height. So the first thing you, that the computer needs to be trained to do is find the base, then find the height. In fact, I'm going to write this in a slightly different way. The first thing the, the computer needs to be programmed to do is to find the base. And the base is 1.5. Then it needs to find the height. And the height is 9 minus 1.5 squared. Now we just need to tell it to find the area. Well, the area is the base times the height. Which, in this case, is 1.5 times 9 minus 1.5 squared. And then that value will come out, and that will be a number. So the thing that will come out will be some number 
that represents the area, right? It's 1.5 times this 9 minus 1.5 squared. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the idea with numbers. Now remember, when a computer is actually doing this, the computer is not going to know ahead of time what the number is. So we need to be able to program the computer so that it is using variables, so it is using algebra. So let's see just how easy this is. I think that you're really going to appreciate how easy this is. So now, instead of a 1.5 coming in, we're just going to have x. x is going to be coming in, which means when we draw our diagram, we don't know where the point's going to be. So I'm just going to draw sort of an arbitrary shape here. Let's say it's there, and the x-coordinate of that point is x. So this is just an x. All right, so we need to go through the exact same steps. First, we need to figure out what's the base. Well, this is at x. This is at 0. So the base is the distance between them, which is found by subtraction, x minus 0, which is just x. So the base will be x. All right, now we have to find the height. Well, the height is just this height right here. And to know what that is, you just need to know the y-coordinate of the point. Well, good news. If you know x, then y is equal to 9 minus x squared. Now, we don't know x as a number, but we do know x as a letter, which means instead of this being a 1.5 squared, now it's just x squared. And so our height is 9 minus x squared. So this right here is our 9 minus x squared, and this down here is our x. So then to find the area, you just have to multiply base times height, x times the 9 minus x squared. In other words, everywhere I have a 1.5, I'm just putting an x. So x times 9 minus x squared. And then instead of a number coming out, we're going to have a formula. And that formula is found by distribution. So we have 9x minus x cubed, or if you prefer, negative x cubed plus 9x. Now hopefully you recognize that this is the same answer that we got in the previous video, and that the skill and the concept are related. They are doing the same thing. The concept is just helping us understand why the skill works. Okay, great. That's the end of this video.